Hafiz and the Haftseen Adventure. Hafiz is in charge of the Haftseen table this Nauruz. Do you hear that? I'm in charge, boasts Hafiz. What does in charge mean, brother? asks his younger sister Zahra. It means I know what I'm doing. Except Hafiz has no idea what he's doing. So, Bala Kalam, what exactly is the half seen table? Hafiz asks his wise grandmother. Mada Kalam pulls out an old storybook while Hafiz and Zahra sit at her feet to listen closely. Mada Kalam tells the best stories. Nowruz, meaning new day, marks the beginning of spring, and the half seen table is a tradition that goes back hundreds of years to ancient Persia. This is the story of the first blooms day. Hafiz and Zahra squirm in excitement as their grandmother opens the mysterious storybook. Legend has it that one cold and dreary day, in the middle of the worst snowstorm the world has ever seen, Old Mother Winter was worried about how her son Nauruz and daughter Golshan would reach home after school. It was very important that the children make it home before sunset for the big village festival that held every year to await the first flower bloom, which was a sign that brighter days would soon arrive for no one had seen the spring flower bloom in a hundred years. But every year on the eve of the first day of spring, which they called Bloom's Day, they prayed until the final glimpse of daylight for their flowers to return to life once again. And every year they went to bed disappointed. Old Mother Winter stood sadly in front of her dying flower bud. If only I hadn't lost all the signs of spring when I was a little girl playing throughout all the lands of Persia instead of doing my very important job. Oh, I should have never been left in charge of the half scene. Don't worry, Mama. I will find the lost signs of spring. You can count on me to bring the half scene back home, Noru said. But his sister Golshan would not stand for it. You, no way. I'm going to find them first. Old Mother Winter sighed. Those two were always arguing about something. She handed them a scroll with the map of the seven lands where the signs were lost. Old Mother Winter took her taspi and prayed that the magic of the half scene would guide the children on their journey. Remember, two heads are better than one. You'll get home faster if you work together. But as soon as the afternoon school bell rang, the children fought over where to begin their journey. The first clue is this way, Nauru's pointed left. No, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Godshan pointed right. I'm older. You should listen to me, insisted Nauru's. I'm smarter, replied Godshan. The two pulled at the map which Old Mother Winter had given them until it ripped in half. Now see what you did! Nauru's blamed his sister. This is all your fault. Golshan snapped back at her brother. So each of the siblings took their half of the map and went on their way alone in search of the seven signs. It was not long before Nauru's found himself wandering among rows and rows of barren tree trunks they were the rootless trees of the West who do not like to be disturbed from their winter nap. 
one after the other, Noru's tried knocking on the front doors of the tree trunks to ask for a sign of spring. Go away! Can't you read this sign, kid? A grumpy tree pointed to the do not disturb sign in his front lawn. I need my beauty rest, yelled another tree. They all warned Noru's to go away. All except the littlest tree of all. Is it spring already? I'll have an omelette with a side of naan and some strawberry jam, please. The little tree yawned. No, no, little friend, I'm not here to take your breakfast order, Noru said. You're not. The little tree was ready to fall back asleep. All right, let me see what I have. Noru's opened his backpack. Crunchy bags of chips and cream-filled biscuits fell to the ground. But this is all junk food. Here, I've been saving this for a rainy day, but I think you need this more than I do. Good night. The little tree handed Noru's a picnic basket and went back into a deep, cosy sleep. Noru's opened the basket and reached into the glowing light. Congratulations! You have found the sieve, or apple. An apple is used on the traditional Hapsin table to symbolize good health in the new year. We all love those yummy pastries and baked treats, especially during the holidays. I know I have a sweet tooth. But we also have to remember to take good care of our minds, bodies, and souls by eating a balanced diet, getting plenty of sleep and exercise, and practicing mindfulness through prayer and meditation. Remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. What are some ways that you will try to bring good health into your routine this new year? This is just the start of our journey to spring. Let's keep on going to see what else is in store for Navroz. I got the first clue. On to the next one. I bet Golshan is still going around in circles. Norus was excited to have a head start on his journey, but his sister was not far behind. It's so dark in here, and P.U. it smells awful. Golshan tried to adjust her eyes to see inside the dark cave of emergency wings. Excuse me? Golshan tried to get a doctor's attention as dozens of bats flew here and there in response to roaring ambulance sirens. Can someone please tell me how to get out of this cave? You just follow the light at the end of the tunnel. Get it? The bat, wearing a white coat and stethoscope, chuckled at his own joke. What's that smell? Golshan could hardly breathe as this pungent stench filled the cave. Oh, that's the latest supply of the world's best medicine. It can cure anything, except brain fleas. No one has solved that mystery yet. The doctor bat laughed to himself. You seem to love the smell so much. You can keep this as a souvenir. The strange doctor gave Golshan a glowing sack and flew off. Golshan pinched her nose, opened the sack and reached into the glowing light. Yay, you did it. You found seer or garlic. Now, you may have heard some stories about how garlic would used to keep away the pions and other imaginary creatures a long time ago. Or maybe you run out of the kitchen whenever your family is cooking with garlic because it has such a strong smell. But did you know that this ingredient is used on the traditional half seen table to symbolize medicine and healing? Garlic is thought to have many benefits like making your heart stronger or preventing common colds. In these difficult times, it is important that we all should follow the public health guidelines to keep ourselves 
and those around us safe and healthy. We are so grateful this year to have so many heroes throughout the world working day and night to help the ill and to research new medicines to protect us. What an important reminder on our journey to the new year. Our story is only just beginning. This sign may smell like old socks, but it sure doesn't stink to be a winner. Golshan was feeling confident about her victory. She ran out of the cave and stepped into a puddle of water. A calm body of water stretched before her, all the way into the horizon. But little did Golshan know that the lazy lake of the east would be anything but smooth sailing. Brr, this water is freezing. How am I supposed to cross the lake? Golshan wondered. She spotted a mysterious boat that appeared at the edge of the water and climbed in. But the harder she rode, the harder the lake pushed her back with giant mocking waves. No matter which direction Golshan tried to steer, the lazy lake brought her to the same place where she began. Oh, I've just been going in circles all day. I'm running out of patience. Golshan was wet and cold and frustrated. But patience was exactly what Golshan needed to cross the lake. So she finally put down her oars. She waited as she waited until the lake carried her safely toward the horizon. As she stumbled off the boat onto land, a glowing glass bottle appeared under the water. This must be the next sign of spring, she exclaimed. Way to go! You found circa, or vinegar. Vinegar is a clear liquid that you may have seen used in some school science experiments. Like the popular volcanic eruption caused by combining vinegar with baking soda. It's so much fun to watch the fizzy lava run everywhere. Vinegar is a household item that has many uses from cleaning to cooking. But it can taste bitter or be harmful if used incorrectly. So remember to always ask a grown-up for help when handling strong chemicals. On the half and table, vinegar symbolizes patience and keeps away a sore outlook on life. Sometimes we can be in such a hurry to grow up and get somewhere that we forget all the fun and good times we can have along the way. It's definitely hard to wait for, the, for this pandemic to be over. But can you think of ways that we can still celebrate the new year and be thankful for each day? These are all the great reflections to keep in mind as we continue our journey. I can't wait to see Norruz's face. Goldshan wondered if he was lost. And lost he was, outside the giant fort of the fearless. Few have ever been able to get across the fort, even the strongest knights and warriors in all the lands. Norus ran as fast as he could through the tall fields of frozen wheat that lay ahead for miles and miles in front of him. Every path he took led to a dead end with a giant wall that stood between him and his glory. It seemed like the only way out was to go over the wall. But every time he thought he was getting closer to the top, the wall tickled Norruz's feet until he fell back to the ground. That's it, I need a break. Maybe this isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Beads of sweat trickled down Norruz's face as he kept trying to climb to the top. I could really use some help right now, he admitted. He secretly wished that Golshan were here. Suddenly, a door appeared through the wall, and Norouz pushed through easily to the other side where a sweet, 
sent greeted him from a small glowing dish. You have found the next sign of spring. Samanu or sweet pudding, my favorite. Samanu is made from wheat sprouts which take about a week to soak. It, when ready to cook, it is kept in a, it is stored in a large pot all day. Family and friends may come throughout this process to take turns to stir the mixture and make wishes. As the youngest in the family, I get to make the first wish for the New Year's. We share this warm pudding with our neighbors or relatives. We even save a little bit to place on the Hafsin table. Samanu symbolizes power and strength. You might think that being powerful means having big muscles or being able to run a marathon. But there are many ways to show strength. Getting up after a bad fall to try something again, going out of your way to be there for someone, and even having the courage to admit when you are wrong are all strengths of character. You are more powerful than you think. We are halfway through this journey already. Norris was excited to share the big news, except there was no one around to share anything with him. A feeling of loneliness swept over Norris as he walked sadly into the peculiar cliffs of the copycats. Hello? He yelled into the silence. Hello? 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 Strange voices replied to him in some very strange ways. Is anyone there? Norus tried again. Surely someone out there was being silly and he could really use a silly friend to keep him company right now. Is anyone there? The voice sang back eerily. Are you just going to repeat everything I say? Lord Roos was getting annoyed. The voice was even more annoying than his little sister. He was really starting to miss his family and everything at home that he had taken for granted in his quest to become a hero. I might as well give up, Lord Roos thought to himself. Oh, I'm all alone, he cried. You are never alone. This time, the voice of the echo was different. It was a soft and soothing voice. As Norus wondered who sent him that reminder, the sprouts of glowing green grass began to appear at his feet. It couldn't be. Could it? Well done, friend. You have found the subza, or greenery. Green is the first color I think of when spring is just around the corner. You may have noticed how it is often used in Muslim history and cultures. Green reminds me of nature and new life after a white winter in many parts of the world. Even when it is too cold outside for trees and flowers to bloom. I like to keep small plants indoors to remind me of all Allah's wonderful creations and abundance of blessings on us. We place the subject on the half sin table as a symbol of purity and good fortune for the new year. We are so fortunate to have our families, the Jamaat, and the communities in which we live to help each other in times of difficulty. Remember that you are never alone. What are some ways in which we can share our good fortune with others? The new year is a great opportunity to count our many blessings and there are still more signs to discover on this journey to this special day. Norus wasn't the only one who was homesick. Not too far away, Golshan was trapped in the wasteland of time, where there was no escaping. 
the wasteland was covered in icky, sticky quicksand that made it almost impossible to walk with one foot in front of the other. I'm stuck. I can't move forward at all. Goldshan tried to break free from the dark slime, pulling her into the ground. At this rate, she would never reach home. Golshan could see the sun lowering in the sky, which meant that she would be letting everyone down, especially her family, by missing the Bloom's Day deadline. She regretted fighting with Noruz and going off on her own to prove that even younger sisters could beat their older brothers. Golshan had fallen right into the Wasteland's plan to have her stuck in the past instead of looking at the road ahead. As Golshan wiggled and wobbled to keep her balance in the sticky mud all around her, Maman's map fell out of her pocket. She examined her torn piece and retraced her steps to figure out where she was. This means my brother is close by. I can still catch him in the middle where our maps meet. Golshan felt hopeful. Sensing her renewed hope, the wasteland loosened its grip and Golshan ran as fast as she could toward the bright red sun calling her brother's name. And as she reached closer and closer to the rays of light, Bushes of red berries began to sprout from the ground. You've become a pro. Congratulations on finding Samak. Samak is a bright red-orange plant found in many parts of the world. The dried berries of this flower are commonly ground up into a spice that tastes sour like lemon juice and is used in many Mediterranean and other cuisines. Placing some mug on the half sin table really gives it that extra pop of colour and symbolises the colour of the rising sun. When was the last time you saw a beautiful sunrise in the sky? It gives me such a warm glow inside to witness the beginning of a new day. The sunrise is a reminder that no matter how bad yesterday may have seemed, Today is a first start to learn from our mistakes and chase our dreams with renewed hope. It also represents the light that always surrounds us, both on the inside, outside and within our hearts. Let's see where our journey takes us next. Nuri! Golshan! The long lost brother and sister almost bumped heads as they ran toward each other in excitement. I think the curse is finally over after a hundred years of waiting. Golshan waved the red berry she found. But as darkness began to fall, the colourful signs of spring began to fade into frozen twigs. Their journey was not over yet. We still have to find the final sign. Lorus remembered, so they put their maps back together and searched high and low for any clues that would save Bloomsday from becoming Doomsday. Disappointed, they returned home to Old Mother Winter, who had been worried sick. The children told her about their adventures and showed her the six signs they had found. Old Mother Winter's face beamed with pride. So, who wants to be in charge of the Bloomsday decorations? Old Mother Winter did not seem concerned at all that there was still one sign missing. Here, why don't you flip for it? She gave them a shiny silver coin and went to look after her dying flower buds. Norus and Golshan looked at each other. I think you should do it. You never give up, even when something's hard, said Norus and handed his sister the coin. 
No, brother, you should be in charge. You are a great problem solver. Goldshot insisted by returning the coin. How about we toss it together for good luck? Norus really was a good problem solver. Together, they threw the coin in the air and watched it glow. This is it. You found the final piece of the puzzle together. It is a sicka or a coin. Whether you have a jar full of coins that you've been saving up, a special collection of coins that, uh, from different countries, or, or a memorable coin that has been passed down in your family history, sicka are a symbolic part of, of the half sin table. Coins represent wealth or prosperity. Although we often think of money when we hear wealth, there are many other gifts that make each of us rich, such as our families, our education, and our unique talents. We are all created differently to, to learn from and help each other grow. This is why Maulana Hazri Imam talks about time and knowledge as a, as a, way, as a special way to give back to the community. How, what are some ways uh, in which you are rich? How, how will you help other people be successful on their journeys? Remember, two heads are better than one. Now, where did we hear that before? It's time to finish the rest of our story, dear friends. I can't wait for the first day of spring. The seven sign had been hidden right under their noses the entire time. And with that, Golshan and Noruz took their seven items together to the special table laid out for the festival, where each guest added their blooming flowers, one by one. The village rejoiced all night long, for spring had finally returned. The end. Mara Kalam closes her storybook and yawns. Now do you know what it means to be in charge of the half seen table, brother? Zahra asks Hafiz. You know what? I've changed my mind. I think you should be in charge. Hafiz has a feeling he is in way over his head. No, no, you're older. Zahra exclaims. But you're way smarter. Hafiz does not want any credit. The brother and sister seem like they're about to get into another argument. Hey, why don't you flip for it? Madar Kalan says with a sly smile. She gives them a shiny silver coin and goes for her afternoon rest. You see, Madar Kalan is a woman of great wisdom, many stories, and maybe even some secrets of her own. See you all in the new year, she yells, as Hafiz and Zahra put their heads together for their own big adventure.